Welcome back to my channel and welcome all of us to 2019. Happy New Year, everybody. This is my first video of 2019 and this year is a milestone year for me because as you, or rather many of you may know, I'm going to be a doctor by December of 2019. So excited and that's a huge, huge milestone for me. And I felt in the context of milestones and reaching goals, it would be a good time for me to speak about New Year's resolutions or rather the concept of resolutions in general. So if you'd like to hear what I have to say about resolutions, goals, and pretty much my two cents on it, then do keep watching. Watching. Also, thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. Don't forget to like it if you enjoy it. Also, leave comments down below if you have anything to share with anybody else. And subscribe if you like my channel. So, until the next clip, I love you all and God ever stay blessing you. Now, the beginning of a new year represents to most people a new beginning, a clean slate, and a chance for you to start again. And it's pretty much a quote that I've been seeing on social media that says 365 chances. 365 opportunities and pretty much just 365 days less now that you have to get everything right that you've been messing up and getting wrong for the longest time and I think it's a beautiful way to think of the new year but I think it's also really important to understand why we keep getting it wrong because New Year's resolutions for most people if you're really really lucky maybe will last about two months but very very quickly with the energy the stamina and the Vroom to you know get things done and pretty much to um, reach those goals and meet those resolutions where it's out we pretty much slip back into our old routine new year but same old you and i think it's a really big question that we need to ask ourselves because if we can never stick to the goals and the pretty much wishes or the lists all the things that we said for ourselves then will never affect real change in our lives and it's a real question that we need to ask ourselves and i think i have an idea of why it really ever works and yeah we're gonna unpack it and see how that works so i think maybe we need to shift our mindset maybe we're focusing on the wrong thing we're focusing on the goal but the thing that's constant here in the failed goals and the failed plans and the failed resolutions is you so maybe the real problem in the situation isn't the goal or the plans that you set or them not being attainable or them being out of your reach but it's more you and me that's the problem we are the problem so the real change needs to start with me before i can actually effect change in my life and set goals that i actually will meet and plan things that will actually fall into place but if me the constant factor remains the same then i'll never do anything differently that i've tried to do over the years in affecting my resolutions it's pretty much like you know the people that are always in failed relationships or people that have relationships that are constantly failing whenever you come out of the, the relationship it's never you it's always him good see i this guy didn't love me, he was cheating, or this person did that, that, and the other. Pretty much, there's always a story about every other person. It was his mom, it was his friends. It was everything else except for you. But that person that you've broken up with, let's say your last ex-boyfriend or last ex-girlfriend, they go on to be in a relationship for six months and get married. But you have a string of failed relationships behind you. But we rarely ever point the finger in the right direction at ourselves. We want to blame everybody else for those failures, but not us. And that's a very difficult way to live life and you'll never end up changing in that way because you never acknowledge that you are the problem so i think we need to start with us maybe my resolutions and my plans and my goals and everything that i'm trying to achieve is failing because the problem is me so how do i fix me so before we flood our bedrooms with the post-it notes and the notes of affirmation on the mirrors of yes you can you can do it you can achieve your goals and before we give ourselves a thousand messages of encouragement to get things right let's maybe start with a self-introspection look on the inside and look at yourself and see what's wrong with you that you need to fix that's getting in the way of you achieving those goals and of you meeting the resolutions that you make and obviously again this starts with god because you need to bear your soul to god and you need to speak to god you need to reach out to him tell him what your problems are if your problem is that you're a liar tell him Guti, manga, and this is my problem and this is keeping me from meeting my goals my commitment my resolution because the main thing that we have to focus here the main thing that you need to fix and the core of the thing that needs to stay constant for you to achieve any of these resolutions and goals is your character so you need to shift your character and align your character with the life that you're trying to achieve you can't have a character that goes left but the life that you're looking forward to having or rather the resolutions that you want to make are going right so if you are a liar tell god please cleanse this lying tongue cleanse me of my jealousy cleanse me of my owing people money and not paying them back 
y'all need to stop that in 2019 <laughs> you need to cleanse me of being a fake friend who pretty much is just getting in the way of people's success in their lives you need to cleanse me of pretty much everything that is wrong with me that's keeping me from achieving the goals that i need to achieve so we need to open our hearts to god and ask him to cleanse us with his soap so we can be clean so he can wash us so we can be whiter than snow and once we've achieved that level of character and once we've reach that level of cleanliness on the inside and our character is aligned in the right direction then we'll be able to work towards goals and even when your goals are challenged because the problem with our resolutions and our goals and all of those things is that when they get challenged we don't stand against the challenges that we face with our resolutions we rather drop the resolution and pretty much let the challenge pass by so our characters are not steadfast enough to withstand the beating that our resolutions may take and that's what makes them fail so if your character is steadfast then it's very difficult for you to be pushed out of the way or swayed out of the way of what you're trying to achieve because you'll always be focused and your character will always be in line and strong enough to withstand all of the trials and turmoils pretty much that will affect your goals and your resolutions. So we're going to read from Romans 5 verse 35 and it says, More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that the suffering produces endurance and endurance produces character and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So the only way that you can achieve a new you is by achieving a new character. And I mean achieving a new character in the sense that working on your inner problems, the real things that you know about. Because it's very easy for us to hide our problems. So or hide the things that are wrong with us or hide our um, character flaws so you paint over it but i mean shop we can't see it on the outside but you live that every single day that's your life on the inside so painting over it doesn't change anything for you it changes everything for us we'll think you're a beautiful person and we'll think you're amazing on the outside but inside man you're dirty you're dark and you've just covered it with some paint and even if you're like oh okay let me just sweet a little bit let me act like i'm a sweet person let me act like i'm great but that bitterness the bitterness that you feel the bitterness you taste on the outside we taste something sweet and we think oh my gosh this girl is so amazing this is so beautiful you're everybody's favorite person but you're bitter on the inside and you're going to continue to rot if you don't open that up if you don't give that up if you don't let that go and if you don't pretty much cleanse yourself of that free yourself of that i think free is the better word to use if you don't free yourself of that then you're going to harbor all of that and you may look great on the outside it's whitewashed but on the inside it's a completely different story so we really need to start with the inside start with your character start with focusing on who you truly are when the lights go up who are you and then see how that will change um, your approach to your goals your approach to your resolutions your approach to the things that you want to achieve and pretty much also like I think some of us because we're such a stumbling block in other people's lives and just a stumbling block to ourselves when we pray and ask God to help us achieve things he can't help you because you're stuck in the wrong place so we also need to focus on cleansing ourselves so that we may have access to the blessings that God is ready to give us and that we may also be aligned with the purpose that God wants to give us because we're focusing on the wrong things focusing on hiding our flaws focusing on hiding who we really are focusing on hiding the bad focusing on hiding the dark when we should be focusing on moving forward and pretty much moving forward towards our resolutions and achieving our goals. Now, the one thing that I'll have to be real about is some change is going to be painful, especially change where you need to acknowledge that there's something wrong with you and something really fundamentally wrong with you. Change in that way will be really painful and it's painful for you to um, open those old wounds that you've decided to hide and cover and for you to revisit those things and start again, it may be difficult and it may be painful. But in the long run, at least you'll know that after you've opened that up and after you've peeled those wounds and after you've peeled that shell and after you've pretty much given everything, opened yourself up and given everything up, then the change that you'll effect in that direction after that experience will be change that will be real because you will be different. Then you'll be able to effect change that you know will last and change that will be there for the long run. Now, once we've gotten to the setting of our hearts right, aligning the character, you've spent some time in the potter's house, gotten broken, gotten molded and refashioned, now it's time to make your list. Now you can make your post-its, now you can make, I don't know, whatever stickers, whatever things you do to make um, your resolutions and set your goals, now it's time for you to do that because you've been equipped to do it. And when you do it, man, hey, go for it 100%. Give it your everything that you've got. Don't aim low. Don't start with, I want to start with a small goal and build on to a bigger goal. There's none of that. You've been equipped 
for go big or go home. So that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to go big or you're going to go home because that's what you've been equipped for. And it's really important for us to also realize that higher than the highest human thought is what God has for you. So you can't be aiming here when God has set you up here, you know. And it's also really important that we own it. A lot of us will be like, ah, higher than the highest. But you don't own it. You must own it and say it. Higher than the highest human thoughts is God's ideal for me. And then you live it. Higher than the highest human thoughts is God's ideal for me. Say it, live it, and believe it. So if your resolution this year is to be fit, then commit to it. No half-baked stories of, I'm stopping gym in Feb, or I have cheat days every day. Commit, commit, commit. Talking to the man in the mirror. This is my resolution every year. So I'm actually going to try and get it right this year. If your resolution is that you want to get that degree, baby girl, then stop spending too much time in the streets of Drunsbeck and spend time studying because you know to defeat whatever age you need to defeat you need to put in some time you need to put in some work so also help yourself go in the right direction of your goals so don't go in the opposite direction attempting to achieve a goal so commit to that as well if your goal is that you want to have a business that's going to flourish commit to that bambi squam stop spending money on things that are necessary stop doing things that you know you shouldn't be doing that aren't helping your business commit to that business if your goal is that you want to have a better relationship then tear down those walls stop hanging on to past hurts and pretty much being a bad relationship because you've been hurt in the past if you're going to do it do it wholeheartedly and commit to it give it your 110 percent love that person as they've never been loved before as you've never been loved before because that's what you've committed to doing so also we need to stop downplaying ourselves because that's another stepping stone or rather not stepping stone stepping hmm? hindering block whatever that's another thing that's blocking your road to achieving your resolutions and your goals is that we discourage ourselves and we discredit ourselves before we started so don't be on some yeah well, I mean, i'm not going to last two weeks in the gym of course you won't if you tell yourself that you won't last two weeks in the gym you won't be there for two days so give yourself the benefit of the doubt even if you've made mistakes in the past and even if you failed in the past the whole point is that you've shifted your mindset you fixed the problem that was the initial problem or what I think is the initial problem and you're now working towards achieving something in a new spirit, in a new light, in a new you. So give yourself the benefit of the doubt. Actually give yourself the opportunity to try and to succeed and expect yourself to succeed. And I think once you've also given your yourself the benefit of the doubt, then this is something special that we definitely all need to do and look into. Is once you've given yourself the fighting chance you need to make sure that whatever your hands find to do, you do it with all your strength. Because there's no work, no planning, no knowledge or wisdom in the grave where you're going. So basically, in 2019. That's pretty much all that that says. And I think it's important that we really do realize that God has called us to higher. God has called us to a higher purpose. God has called us to excellence. So don't be okay with mediocre in your life either. So if you decide to start something, finish it and finish strong. Finish first. Olympic gold medalist vibes in this situation ship only. So yeah, I think that's pretty much my energy for 2019. Energy that I'm spewing or what? Sending your way. Energy that I'm spewing is disgusting energy that i'm sending your way in 2019 is all the positive energy and once you've shifted your mindset adjusted your character just give it your all man give it your all give yourself a fighting chance in 2019 and if things don't work out at least you will land what do they say aim for the moon at least you land among the stars so pretty much let that be our theme for 2019 i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found some inspiration and i hope that 2019 will be everything that you wish for and more god bless you I pray that everybody under the sound of my voice is blessed beyond measure in 2019 and that everything that we hope for and that we dream for, God will give us if it's according to his purpose and that God may protect us so that we see the end of this year as well and that we may see 2020. So I love you all and God ever stay blessing you. I hope you enjoyed this. Pray for everybody around you as well. And yeah, happy resolution making everybody. I love you.